Super Bowl champion, so they're going to keep cooking. What's going on with 95? My yoga partner. The saga continues. The team announced yesterday they put him on reserve, did not report list. So the holdout's continuing. No certain end in sight. Um, he sort of indicated last week that he'd even be willing to hold out until week eight. If he doesn't report by then, okay, he doesn't get credit for this year. He would be ineligible to hit free agency in the offseason. So this is a bit of a problem. But I see both sides. The GM side's trying to do their part. They have a responsibility. Yeah. Uh, but his side, he wants to get paid. I get it. Yeah, and he and he deserves it. I mean, he, he's as good as it gets. He's as important a defensive force as there is in this league. Can they team. win the Super Bowl without him? That is the only question that Veach and company should be talking yeah. about, right, in the boardroom. Can yeah. they win a Super Bowl? They, they couldn't win the first two without him. Can they win the Super Bowl this year without him? I don't think so. Why? I just think he's too important to that defense. You want to pull up this full screen? Go for it. Of what we have? Uh, the most sacks in the NFL since 2018. Take me through it. He is fourth on that list. And as a defensive tackle, that's absolutely absurd. <laughs> and, um, and again, I think there is that aspect of it where, you know, having Aaron Donald in this league kind of takes some of the shine away from what Chris Jones is doing because he's a generational player, but Chris Jones, to me, is a Hall of Fame talent at defensive tackle, and I think last year we finally started to see him kind of get some of that buzz. We he saw did. how important he was throughout the regular season, and then in the playoffs, you know, you, you chronicled it really well. He had some struggles in the playoffs over the years, completely broke out in that game against the Bengals. I mean, he was, thinking about, he was thinking about that Bengals situation that whole time, and then yeah. he sort of vindicated himself with his performance. They don't win the Super Bowl without him. Can they win it without Chris Jones this year? What do you guys think at Up and Adam's show? We hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adam's content right on YouTube.